Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, you're gonna meet a video marketing genius. His incredible story, just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. So as the owner of a marketing firm and podcast network, I'm passionate about video. And when I meet another marketing expert who's also passionate about video, I, I know we're going to become best friends. And you're going to meet a true video marketing genius, Atiba D'Souza. He's with Client Attraction Pros. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Okay, before we get going, I, we need to talk about the Superman hat. Okay, let's I go. love it. I love yes. it. So how'd you, get the, how'd you get the Superman moniker? Well, the brand chose me. Okay, to be completely honest. Sure. Um, so about 14 years ago, um, I've coached football for a very long time. And about 14 years ago, I took over a high school team. And on my way to the very first day of practice, middle of August, blazing sun, two and eight practice ahead of me, I realized I forget my hat at home. Cardinal sin. So I pull into the nearest Walmart and I'm like, I need a bucket hat. And the only thing they had that was workable was a Superman bucket hat. And I said, well, Superman it is. That's what we're gonna go with. Right? I put the hat on, I went out, I coached, I wore it that entire season. Mm. And then the kids and the coaches started buying me hats. And that's where the brand started. So it chose me. But it, and it works. I mean, you're a, a true superhero when it comes to video marketing. Let's, let's talk about what it is you do and who your clients are. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I run a video marketing agency, as you said, right? And we serve medical professionals who are leaving insurance-based care for cash-based services. Okay. Um, and they have a major problem. Yes. Because the insurance companies used to send them leads. As soon as they get rid of the insurance company, how do I find clients? Wow. And that's what we help them with. Absolutely brilliant. We're going to pull up his website. And as we scroll down the website, you're going to discover he's also an amazing speaker. Do you find yourself speaking to audiences of doctors or who do you speak to? Yeah. So I speak to really two types of audiences. Mm -hmm. Okay. So number one are doctors and, and medical Events. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here in Dallas cool. for a, a, uh, a medical event. And then two other marketers. Okay, those are the two biggest audiences because video is the future. And so many of us are stuck in yesterday. And we have such a major opportunity to actually get ahead. And it's not that hard. But we allow that little thing there called the camera to scare us. And it's actually not that scary. And he, I love it that he's passionate about what he does for his clients. And we're going to learn more about that in a second. But in doing homework for the show, I found this amazing video. Let's go ahead and roll that now. Some of the worst mistakes that businesses make when it comes to marketing is flat out thinking about themselves first. We think so often about what we want, our bottom lines, the product we want to offer, how we want to position it, why it makes sense to us. We presented to the client in a way that says, this is what's best for us if you buy it. Clients hate that. The biggest thing that we've got to do is focus on our client because our goal is to get them results. And if they're here and the result is here, there is a chasm and we have to help them cross it. But now you can only do that by understanding number one, where they are and what's the next step that they have to take. I'm Atiba D'Souza and my business is Client Attraction Pros and we are an organic video first content marketing agency. So my primary customer avatar is really B2B customers between about half a million and about $1.7 million. One of the largest things that we do for our clients is help them understand the content that needs to be created. When looking at a content strategy, People often feel like 
I don't know what to talk about. It doesn't matter what the medium of the content is, video, written, podcast, it doesn't matter. You feel like you're gonna run out of topics. So what we've actually done is we have a proprietary framework, we call it the ASQ framework, answer specific questions framework. And what we do in this framework is we take a business and we consider the fact that customers are asking questions about this business's product or service long before they ever pick up the phone, heck, even get to the website to contact that business. They're online, they're doing searches, they're going to Reddit, they're going to Quora, they're going to all these different places and asking questions and learning. That's how we exist online today. And so what we've done is figured out how to actually data mine the questions that people ask in order before they get to a business's website, before they contact a business. And we provide those questions to you so that you can answer them because those are the questions that your customer wants to know. So when people come in, they say, hey, I've run out of topics, well, what should I talk about? Well, we go back to figuring out what is it that people are asking because that's what you need to be answering. You know, three things that I love about marketing. Number one is the ability to connect with people. And I learned this early in my career. Okay, so I've really started marketing when I was in high school into college. And it was just the ability to create something that connected with someone and made them say, I want that. Then it's the backside of that for me that once they receive the thing that they got, that yes, it worked, right? Because then the fulfillment, even though that's not technically part of marketing, it's why we're in it. And then the third thing that I love about marketing is the fact that we're all in marketing. Every single person is in marketing. And it's bringing that out of people when you realize that marketing is all about communication. Anytime you're communicating to someone, you're marketing something. You're marketing yourself. You're marketing whatever you're saying. And it's that art of communication and learning to really connect. You know, the most satisfying thing for me about running my business at this point in time in my business, this changed over, over the years. So I've been in business for 27 years in one form or fashion. Okay. And what right now is the most satisfying for me is my staff. We're doing work that's changing our clients' lives and I'm having the ability to change their lives. Wow. And I know you're proud of your team. Why don't, you, yes. why don't we take a moment to give a shout out to your team? Oh, absolutely. To my entire team. Honestly, you know, I get to be the one who's on camera that people see, but y'all, and you know it, and I tell y'all all the time, Y'all are the ones who actually make this work. You know, when we look at all the great things we do for doctors, yes. it isn't me, <laughs> okay? It's y'all, it's my team. My team would be nowhere without them, all 23 of them. Yes, well, I think you're so wise to specialize in uh, medicine because you know, these people are brilliant in whatever their practice is, but yeah. they really don't, you know, they need a doctor when it comes to, to marketing. So uh, tell me one of your favorite stories of a client you've helped. Yeah, so one of my favorite stories um, was a doctor that came to us and he came to us actually after seeing me on much like this, a bit of a podcast, True. right? Where I was teaching how we do what we do, okay? And he went up and he did what we said to do on that podcast and he had success with it. And he calls me up and he says, listen, I, this was, he saw me in December. He calls me end of January and said, I did what you said on that podcast and it's working, but it's too much time. It's too much work for us. Please come in and, and do this for us. Mm. And so we did. And about three weeks in, we got an email from him. And that email said, just had someone walk in and plopped down $26,000 and said, I knew you're my doctor because I saw your videos. Wow. It's so powerful. Let's talk about the power of video and, and storytelling. I yes. run into so many people. It doesn't matter what platform they're using, Facebook uh, or LinkedIn. Uh, they'll, they'll post every day, but it will be like a Maya Angelou quote. And, and I'm a Maya Angelou fan, but I, I'm not going to follow them. It, there's no, not going to be any the engagement. Point. So when you're sitting down with a doctor for the first time, what does that discussion look like? Yeah. So number one, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for bringing up story. Yeah. It's the missing thing, right? 
there's so many of us who, especially when it comes to creating content, we just want to put information out there and think that if I put it out there, people are gonna come. But people connect with stories. Yes. That's a, the biggest part of my job right now is helping these doctors realize there is value in your stories, successes and failures. Yes. So for instance, a do doctor decides to uh, set up a concierge medicine profession. Mm -hmm. As you said, they're not getting those leads anymore from the insurance companies. You're sitting down with this doctor for the first time. What do you, uh, what's that discussion look like? What questions do you ask? Yeah. How do you help tell their story? Yeah, so what we're gonna ask first is, who are you, what do you do, and why do you do it? What's going to, what makes you special and unique? Because you didn't just become a concierge doctor for no apparent reason, or an orthopedic surgeon for no reason. There's a, there's a story there. There's a passion there, okay? Now, we take that, and then the next thing that we have to figure out, and this is the tough one, who is your ideal customer? So many people want to say, hey, I'm just going to serve anybody who has knee pain, because that's what I do. I fix knees. But do you really? Would, you, would your process have more success with an athlete than it does someone who's 65 years old? Would it have more luck with someone who is overweight than someone who's in great shape. Yes. You've got to know these things. Know who your ideal person that you want to serve is. So we spend a lot of time there because it's something that, especially in the medical profession, they've never really thought about before. Well, I can certainly see why you're so successful and why you've become a, a video content superman. Uh, we've got about a minute left, so I want you to speak to the person who's watching this for the first time and they're saying to themselves, I, I think I found my guy. Uh, what do you want to say to that person? Well, number one, if you, you're watching us and you feel like you found your guy, thank you. I like you too. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and so what I'd love to do is have a conversation with you, okay? I would love for you to find me online, come go to my LinkedIn, send me a message, let's talk. Because you see, communication, we're in marketing, marketing is all about communication. And I wanna to talk to you. I know you got questions. I know you have questions. I know this seems daunting. Let me help you answer those questions. Wow, what a great segment. <laughs> we're gonna end with his website, which is clientattractionpros.com, the great Atiba D'Souza. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.